This video is all about the supplies we need to paint this painting. And so the paper that I'm using is Strathmore. It is 140 pounds. I don't know if you see this. It's 140 pounds. The size is 11 by 15. The reason why I work at 11 15, um, the size of 11 15 inches or larger is to get a lot of detail. If you work too small, if you work at half the size, it's more difficult to get, you know, detail. I'm sure this piece, this right here, ha was done on a piece of paper that was super large. Probably three times the size of this paper that we're talking about, which is 11 by 15. Okay, that's how they get all these details, is using really large paper. There are different series of Rath uh, Strathmore paper. I like the 300 series um, a whole lot because it's thicker paper. The paper is thicker. When the, pic when the paper is thicker, it's easier to paint on. And you don't have to tape everything down because it's going to wrinkle really bad. Um, I know there are other types of um, paper that are blocks. You can get a block of, of paper. Um, and then it doesn't, you don't have to tape it down. I know many people say, oh my gosh, if you're doing watercolor, you always have to tape down your watercolor paper. I don't necessarily agree with that because I, when I paint, I turn the paper around so I can get to whatever part of the painting I need to get to. You're going to need some sort of uh, container to put water in. I usually have two or three. Um, so then you have a clean one and then you have one that maybe is a little, you know, you have two different ones, one that's a little more dirty, one that's a little cleaner. You want to start out with both of them clean in the beginning. When you're changing colors, you dip into the dirty one and you clean it and then you go into the clean one and pick up clean water. So I usually have two containers for the water and then you're going to need a pencil and you're going to need um, an eraser. The pencil and eraser, it's up to you what you want to use. I always use um, a, a 2H pencil because they're really, 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 really light. You need to draw extremely light um, with your pencil on your paper so then you don't have too many pencil lines. You're also going to need an eraser. Now you can either use a kneaded eraser or a white eraser. Um, I have the list of the supplies and links to Amazon if you want that. Um, that's a separate sheet of paper that you can download when you when you decide to um, take the class. There is a downloadable document that has all that on it because we're going to draw first and then we're going to paint step by step. Okay. So the other things that you're going to need is you're going to need watercolor paint. I always talk to my um, students about using Prang watercolor over maybe some of the other brands. This is a very inexpensive watercolor and it's a lot like gouache in that it has really bright colors. I love bright colors. Some of the other brands are very muted. There's not very much um, uh, pigment in the pods that um, in, in the pods and everything. Now something that Prang has done which I don't agree with is they have changed their brushes. Their brushes are just absolutely awful brushes. I never ever use the Prang brush. It is just there's no point on it and you can't do much with it. It's just kind of a waste of a brush. Anyway, but this is the new um, container for Prang. <laughs> the ones that I'm going to be painting with, the ones I'm going to be painting with are these old containers because I still have a lot of paint after years and years and years of painting. As you can see, I still have a lot of paint left in my praying pads. Okay, the other, if you don't have this, that's fine. When I'm painting watercolor and I'm traveling around, I have a travel set. My travel set is the Winsor Newton travel set. I love Winsor Newton. I have been using Winsor Newton since I was in college. When we were in college, when I was in college, they told you to get a really large palette and then I got tubes of paint, 
which you can buy tubes of paint or you can buy these little pods of paint. Something I do is travel painting, so I have this smaller container of Winsor Newton. And you know what? The brush that comes with Winsor, Winsor Newton is fabulous. That's another thing about Winsor Newton. It is truly professional, and that's something that's nice. Now, this is the student grade paint, not the professional paint. I have both. Okay, and then brushes. This is something else I want to talk to you about. I'm going to turn this over so maybe you can see the brushes. I, I have several size brushes. I do, I have these little bitty tiny brushes that are really detailed that have little bitty tiny tips on them, which are awesome for detail. I also have, I use a Princeton, which this is something I've always used since I was in college also, is Princeton Heritage Paint Brushes. And what's nice about them is this point on it. Because once it gets wet, it goes to a tiny little point, and if you lightly touch your page, you can get little bitty tiny lines, which is really wonderful. Something else I have here is a Princeton liner brush. Sometimes I use this, sometimes I don't. Um, the li this liner brush is kind of large. It's a six, uh, a number six. Now that's the other thing about brushes is that no matter what brush you pick up, they're going to have different numbers on here and the industry did not go through and make every brush the same you know if it's a six everybody can you know the six is the same in every brand they didn't do that a six in another brand may mean something completely different so this is what's what i'm doing is the the princeton heritage um brushes and they're this is a round and this is a liner brush now, something else that I use, which most people go, oh, that's such a big brush. See, there's a number two, but look how huge this brush is. But what's nice about it is it, when it gets wet, you have a ton of water in your brush, and you don't have to go back and forth to the water, back and forth to the water, because you run out of water, okay? So that's what I love about this brush. It is, it is called a quill brush, and that's Q-U-I-L quill brush and what's cool about it is it it you it has when you dip it into water it has a ton of water in it and the water stays in it so you can go back and forth from your color and do more painting without going back and forth to your water container okay one other supply that we're going to need is salt and um, for this painting we're going to, once this is, we, we get to a certain place in our painting and this is really wet, we're going to sprinkle salt on it and it creates this really fun texture. So you're also going to need a little bit of salt. So these are the different supplies that I use. Um, you get to choose what you want to use, but I just want to do a disclaimer here. If you use a different product, if you use paper that's not 300 series, it's not watercolor paper and it's finger paint paper, your painting is not going to come out the same as mine. If you don't use Windsor Newton, I mean, if you don't use Prang, and I'm using Prang, and you're using a different brand, I cannot guarantee that your painting is going to come up the same color and brilliance as my painting. I, I can't guarantee that because you're not using the same supplies. So it's up to you how you want to do it and what you want to do. And I'll see you in the next video.